Well, DJ Khaled's top off featuring Future, Jay-Z, Beyonce, uh, is allegedly pretty much a flop. I mean, considered who you got on there. You got Beyonce, who, by, by I must say, did great on the track. It's not her fault. And Jay-Z did great on the track. Their lyrics are great. Future's hook is trash, okay? The beat is trash. Uh, and I'm wondering, did Jay-Z and Beyonce even get to approve this? And are Jay-Z and Beyonce going to, you know, they've kind of embraced Khaled over the past two years. Are they going to kind of take a step back? Because they're too hot to be standing next to something that's too cold, especially affiliating their brands with that. Uh, let's get into this one. This is uh, George Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe. Product for today is a mini projector. You cook your smartphone, your laptop up. The link is below. It's 50 bucks, guys. Can't lose with this one. Uh, it connects to all your devices. The link is below. 50 bucks. Get it right now. But, and if you want to run ads in the channel, it's Media at gmail.com. Well, Beyonce and Jay-Z, they're always hot out here, okay? They're solidified. Beyonce did a great job on the track. So did Jay-Z. The lyrics were on point, okay? The the mixing and everything was just trash, okay? Uh, I'm wondering, did they get to, you know, like the final say on this? Because it seems like they just kind of trusted it to go out. Um, it's just a horrible song. I mean, that's my personal opinion. Opinion of most people on Twitter. It, it didn't even stream that well. It's been out for four weeks and only done like... 20 million on Spotify with this caliber artist, Jay Z, Beyonce, Future, everything should be well on to 100 million. Post Malone dropped a song a few weeks after, he's already at 150 million with a song, okay? Just on Spotify. I'm just talking about Spotify. Now, Coward keeps pushing this down our throats. Uh, every radio interview, he's talking about the biggest thing ever. He went out and purchased a million dollar car just for the song. I mean, that is crazy. Will the video bring life back to it? I don't know. Are they going to do a video? The, Jay-Z did a video about a year and a half ago or something for The Keys. The last track that Beyonce and Jay-Z did with DJ Khaled, they did not do a video for it. There's no guarantee they'll do a video for this one. Um, just like last time, he warmed up his album with the Jay-Z and Beyonce track. It performed okay. It was decent. Uh, but the real winner off that was the Bieber track with, you know, Quavo and uh, Chance the Rapper, right? That was the winner off of that one. And also the Rihanna uh, and Bryson Tiller track. But uh, anyways, I'm going to say that Beyonce and Jay-Z might step back a little bit from Khaled. Uh, it's probably the safe move. Everybody likes DJ Khaled and they don't want to hurt his feelings by telling the truth about this record. But like we got to admit at this point, this is a flop, okay? Um, allegedly, I'll say, but uh, seriously, it's it's a flop. And uh, you know, uh, most DJs are gonna play it because uh, he has a big brotherhood with a lot of DJs, and they don't want to hurt his feelings. They're gonna support him, but mm, you can't shove garbage uh, down somebody's throat. Uh, anyways, guys, what do you guys think? Uh, this is George Tower JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, and if you want to announce the channel, it's George Tower Media Gmail dot com. Peace. So the week is a Game Boy case for your iPhone. Yes, flip over your iPhone and play Game Boy. It's amazing. Select the iPhone you have and go get it right now. Link below, free shipping with Amazon Prime. And I said, damn, this dude is rapping, but he's dope. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I seen him coming. He wouldn't stop putting mixtapes out. He was coming, but then he made that hustle. <sighs> hustling, hustling. I've known Rick Ross probably for like 13, 14 years. Uh, <laughs> that's my brother, man. It's like, that's my brother, like for real, my brother. Uh, and I'm a fan of his music. And I love making music with him. The way I met Rick Ross is the craziest thing ever. Um, he used to give me music. And when he first came to me, when I first met him, I met him. I know him from the streets. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know him from the streets. Like, I'll say, you see what I mean? Like, then he used to give me music. And at first, I was like, ah, uh, this ain't it. 
And I was like, yo, my opinion might, might mean nothing, but me personally, I ain't, you don't want me to go hard on the radio with him, like, it ain't it. It ain't it. And he got frustrated. So he was one of them, like, fuck this. You know what I'm saying? So he came back and gave me the record, how was it? And all he had to do was give it to me. I went in, um, and we just we made history together, man. We just we friends, man. We real friends. And about this Miami shit, you know what I'm saying? State County shit, you feel me? That's what we do. Who was that record? Oh, that record was hustling. I see, Rick Ross was ahead of his time. The records he was giving me, the mixtape records or like singles that he was trying to promote, it was ahead of his time, and it was dope. I always said they were dope, cause. He was from Miami, but he was rapping. So I wasn't used to that from being from Miami. Somebody can really rap. And he used to make, I remember he had this one rugby freestyle of his Kanye beat. And I said, damn, this dude is rapping, but he's dope. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, I see him coming, he wouldn't stop putting mixtapes out. He was coming, but then he made that hustle. Hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling. It just, that's when I said, that's it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what that Port of Miami classic, that's a fucking classic album. So is Trill, but so is Deep in the Rap. You know what I'm saying? And now, I'm letting you know, I'm, I'm giving y'all early news. We back in the studio. This new album's gonna be called Tef Lawn Dawn. And those from Miami that know, that was Ross's original rap name, Teflon Dawn. So his new album's gonna be called Teflon Dawn. Trust me, movie shit. We making some crazy music, man. I ain't gonna lie, some good music. Hard beats, you know, shit just, just, you feel me? We gonna make them shit, some anthems, have the club going crazy. I'm excited, man. It's in the studio in the lab. You know what I'm saying? I'm just working on my album. Uh, and I'm working on a lot of other things, too. I'm working with everybody, man. You know, a lot of people asking me on the Twitter or when I bump into them on the street. Uh, who am I working on? I'm working with everybody, like I always do. Um, my album is just going to be crazy, man. Uh, my first album is called Missing. My second album is called We The Best. My third album is called We Global. And now we're going to call this one Victory. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm excited, man. Like I'm, I'm really inspired right now, and I'm excited because, um, you know, the game, man, it changes all the time. And, you know, you, you know, throughout the music, you know, people, I've been watching people, and I've been just been vibing and listening to the streets and being in the streets and being in the club and listening to radio, listening to all type of music. You know what I'm saying? My shit's be anthems. You know what I'm saying? And, I want to continue making them type of records and making anthems, but I'm going to take it to a whole nother level, you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people ask me, am I working with um, some um, new artists too, like, you know, I just artists I haven't worked with. On this album, uh, of course, I definitely got with some more people I haven't worked with, and um, I'm just feeling real great about it, man. You know I'm saying? I'm just excited about the album and stuff, and um, right now I got some new artists that I'm signing under the We The Best. I don't want to talk about it right this second, but... Um, I got a few casts I'm signing. Um, it's, it's, it's gonna be very dope from different cities, and and um, I'm really excited about that too, cause I love breaking new artists and bringing new superstars to the game. So I got that. Jordan Tower with JT News. Why well, hope Meek Mill has paid attention to who has embraced him and who has kept their distance from him in the past year or so, ever since he had a big beef with Drake. Because I don't know if you guys have noticed, uh, DJ Khaled and French Montana, two people that always mess with Meek and always embraced Meek, definitely have kept their distance from Meek to keep their relationship intact with Drake. Now, if you notice, the Major Key album had everybody on that album except for Meek, okay? And then if you notice, French Montana hasn't done anything with Meek in the recent year. So, you know, and basically when his album was about to come out, MC4, nothing with Meek. Now, French Montana, you're going to tell me, oh no, but French Montana's on DC4. 
that's an old track, guys. Snoop's on it. It's an old throwback track. And he wasn't going to be petty and remove 